Central Supply Catalog, several of us were seeing what we could do with the system, and I decided to try and make a really awesome suit of battle dress, just to trust test the system and stretch it a bit and see how it worked. So, this is what I came up with. We have here Thrasher. He's a ground assault marine. He has all marine skills. It's almost like he was designed for this. Funny that. So, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and get him an augment. And that, what we're getting him is a nerve plug response rig. This means that his nervous system will be plugged basically directly into the battle dress once we have it set up correctly. So, now we go back and we look for armor. And the we're going to get artillery battle dress because it has lots of slots. We're going to get a suit of tech level 12 cloth. And we're going to get a suit of conduit bleed. Now, one of the things about the way the system is set up is that the you can layer the armor. We can put cloth tech level 12, but only tech level 12, underneath other main body armors like battle dress. Now we're going to manage the battle dress first before we put it on. Um, now we have a total of 30 slots available to customize this suit of armor. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to start adding things. We're going to enhance his mobility, which will enhance his dex. We're going to enhance his strength because, well, we want him to be able to hit really hard. We're going to add a med kit. We're going to add the nerve plug response rig. That's the other piece of the nerve plug system. Where it's since what we're doing is the equivalent of the assault in enemy fortress, and the fortress we're assaulting is Odani, we're going to add a anti-psionic helmet, and we're going to make this system self-sealing. So now we need to go in and install all of these items. That's seven of the slots. Now for the weapons. Let's go back to the market. We're going to start adding things. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to add an anti-missile system of the advanced variety. That will stop most attacks like grenades, rockets, and things like that. We're going to add a Gauss cannon. We're going to add a Gauss rifle. We're going to add a hand flamer for working a little bit closer. And for really close combat, we need something like, oh, say, a static axe. So now this is going to take a bit to install. We install that. It's a laser system. It doesn't take ammunition. We install this. We now need to manage it. And we go and we're going to put in armor piercing ammo. And we need to remember to install it. Let's get rid of that. Okay, now we go and we install the Gauss rifle. Now, for this, I don't ever want to run out of ammunition with this weapon. Well, it's still possible to do, of course, but if I go and pick up armor piercing ammunition after having put in the extended auto loader, I now have. 880 shots. The Gauss rifle normally has 80 shots to begin with. The This adds 10 times in addition, so that's pretty good. I can shoot all day. We're going to install the hand flamer. Now this one comes preloaded, so we're just going to unload it and get rid of that. Come back, and again, we can install the auto extended auto loader which will mean that when we pick up the clip which costs a little more actually now we load it and we see that we can fire this weapon 55 times before we're done and of course the static axe is short range but it never runs out of ammunition so 
We're now ready to go into combat. Well, not quite yet. First, we need to equip. And you'll notice that my strength and my dex have both jumped significantly. And we equip the combat bleed. Now, this is a layered system, cloth, under the battle armor, and that's under the conduit bleed. Now we're going to go take a look at some other weapons to carry in our hands. We, given where we're going, we want something pretty potent. So let's get a PGMP. And because I'm a traditionalist, we're going to get an aerosol grenade. And, oh, plasma grenade. So now I need to equip all of these things. Now there's really not very much to manage on a PGMP that has infinite ammunition. I had considered putting a bayonet on it, but I didn't feel that, that was really worth it. And we're going to add that and that. Now the aerosol grenade just puts out a fine mist that interferes with lasers. The plasma grenade is the thing that you can throw and do lots of damage with. So now, are we ready? I think so. Let's go into combat and on the first round we're going to aim and we're going to attack and we will start with our from our battle dress we're going to fire the gauss cannon at a target that is at standard range. I would point out that standard range for this weapon is two kilometers. So, well, that didn't hit. So, we apply, we go to the next round, we're gonna aim and attack again, doing the same thing. If they're not paying attention, we'll just remind them again. And we roll, and yes, we hit. And therefore, we roll again. We rolled a six, which means that we did 60 points of damage with that shot. I think we've got their attention. The next round, we're going to change weapons. We're not even going to aim this one, because this is with the Gauss Rifle, and we're going to go full auto, so we can do three attacks. And this, again, is at standard range, which means that this is out to 600 meters. So we can attack, and again, we're doing four dice of damage with armor piercing nine. So, well, yes, you did 19 points of damage, and it ignores the first nine points of armor. And we'll do this again. And that hits again. And we've gotten very lucky this time around. Okay, now we've used up some of our ammunition, but we've done a fair amount of damage. So on the next round, we're going to fire again, except this time with something really close. We're going to use the hand flamer. Hand flamers only fire single shots, so the aim was of some value. This, the standard distance, is only about five yards. And we probably just set something on fire. Isn't this fun? And then we're going to just attack. And this time we will use the Static Axe. And since we have Blade at 1 and our Dex has been bumped, it means that we do really well. 4 dice, AP, 8, and can't be parried. So, in the next round we'll do something a little different. We're going to aim and we're going to attack using the PGMP. Now, this is a little where the uh, nerve plug really comes into its own. We take a bane because the armor that we're using automatically gives a bane to any handmade, handheld weapon attack with this system. But the nerve plug gives a plus to you to our decks. They kind of balance out. And we're going to go for the standard range. In this case, that's still 450 meters away. So we roll. Good grief. That was excellent. But again, it's a destructive weapon, so that really excellent effect that we got means nothing. We still did a lot of damage. On the next round, we're going to... We can aim 
and we're going to attack and we will use the plasma grenade and this we simply throw at the enemy now again we're taking a bane but the plus two so let's see how that works we did it oh dear that's a lot of damage so now we've been having it our way this entire time Part of the point of this armor is that if it's a standard attack that comes in, or a laser, or stun, it's 37 points to resist that attack. But it's 48 if it's an energy like a uh, PGMP or an FPMG. FPMG. Um, so, the way that we track the damage is we just put this in until if we take an energy shot for 12 points, we ignore it. It didn't get through. But if we take more damage, and this time we'll really bump it up, we get hit by an FPMG, which has an average of 70 points. That roll of seven. So we're going to take a lot of damage. But we're not dead. And we really need help right now. So we invoke the we invoke the med kit. Now the med kit has a medical skill of three. And we're not, it's not going to be affected by being encumbered. So we roll that and we find that it didn't really do as much as we want. So hopefully our friends will come and get us and give us some healing pretty quickly. So if we were attacked by someone firing a missile at us, the best way to resolve that would simply be to go, the advanced anti-missile system has a plus four to hit, and you roll two dice, and it needs to roll an eight or higher. And so that missile didn't get to us. And that was my entry into the competition for really awesome armor. Can you do better? Well, I'll be looking forward to seeing. Thanks.